welcome welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is abraham and i am a fourth year nursing student at ucla school of nursing i am a non-traditional student and i also transferred from pierce college in woodland hills to ucla so today i want to talk about what inspired me to choose the transfer pathway and actually three benefits of going to a community college instead of a university right off the bat so what inspired me to choose the transfer pathway I didn't think I was college material at all when I was in high school. I was very unmotivated. I was I had no direction. I didn't know what I wanted to do as a career. So I really didn't think that university was for me. So I never took the SAT. I never took the ACT. I just enrolled at the community college directly out of high school. When I got to Pierce College in Willen Hills, I didn't know I still didn't know what I wanted to do as a major. I had an interest in wildlife photography when I was a kid, so I thought, oh, biology might be good for me. So I started taking like a biology focus. I ended up taking five classes my first semester. I failed three of them. I got a C and a B in two of them. So I ended up dropping out of community college. I went to go work and then finally seven years in the future, seven years later, I came back to community college with a new focus and a new mindset of what I was gonna do to get my degree. So I tried to apply to university as a freshman, but because I had already taken classes when I, when I had graduated high school, I was disqualified from being able to go in as a freshman. So I was forced into community college. So I didn't choose community college. I say community college chose me, but I did gain a lot of experience out of community college. So I want to talk about three benefits of going to community college. And the first one is obviously the cost, right? If you are coming in right out of high school, graduating from a LAUSD school and going to LACCD, the Los Angeles Community College School District, you qualify under the Los Angeles College Promise to get your first two years paid for. Uh, you also get priority enrollment and other things. So going in right off the bat, if you're coming in right out of high school and going to a community college, there is a big incentive to choose a community college over a university. If you're a non-traditional student like myself, I came in and I applied for financial aid and got the BOG waiver. So the BOG waiver made my tuition zero. I didn't get any money in return, but I didn't have to pay anything either. So the first obvious benefit of going to a community college is the cost. Right now I am at UCLA. My annual tuition alone is around $15,000 compared to a community college where my annual tuition would have been around a thousand dollars so even with a part-time job or even with while working a full-time job a thousand dollars is definitely more manageable than fifteen thousand dollars a second benefit that i saw at the community college over the university is the classroom size i couldn't believe how big a single classroom is at the university than at the community college even in my lower division classes that english 101 that math 125 your your college algebra my classroom was never bigger than 50 or 60 students like that's a big classroom if you have like 50 or 60 students in the classroom my average maybe was around 40 students in the classroom at the community college. I did one gen ed at the university and I had 150 students filling like a stadium style classroom uh, at the university. So at the community college, I had a lot more opportunity to interact one-on-one -on -one with my professor. I was able to go to those study hours. I was able to attend the office hours and actually have those one-on-one -on -one connections with the professors where they got to know you, you know, where you got to talk to them more than just the assignment, but you can see them passing by in the classroom and be like, hey, how's your day? How's your weekend? And it was that connections that later turned into 
you know, opportunities and reference letters or recommendation letters. So one of the big benefits, again, of going to community college was that class size. It was a lot smaller. So the third benefit that I feel I got out of a community college versus the UC was that ability to be engaged. So I mentioned that the classroom sizes were smaller and you have more opportunity to interact with that professor one-on-one. -on -one. But that also gives you that opportunity to work with those professors in a much smaller department. So I was in the anatomy and physiology because I was in the health science kind of area. And so being in that little ecosystem, I got to interact with more of the professors that taught that class. And so when I became a tutor for, the, for that professor, uh, I was really brought into the department. So I didn't only interact with that one professor, but I interacted with all six of our professors that were in that department. I was very surprised to find out when I went to community college, our anatomy and physiology lab had three cadavers. Right? So when I did my physio, when I did my anatomy, we went in and we actually identified structures and organs and all that on actual cadavers. And then moving on to physiology, we actually worked with the cadavers. And then when I became a lab assistant, I was able to prepare the cadavers for the oncoming classes to make sure that they had all the materials they needed. So having that really small classroom, I was able to engage with the professor and then I even got brought on as a lab assistant. When I went to UC, I was very surprised to find out that the nursing students, even the ones that went through as freshmen, didn't get a true anatomy and physiology experience like I did at the community college. So really that class availability at the community college is a lot more diverse than that kind of streamlined system that you go through in the UC. So really the three benefits that I got was of course, obviously, the big one is cost saving. Saved a lot more money. $1,000 a year is more manageable than $15,000 a year. Uh, second was the classroom size. My classrooms were never more than 50. Even the most in-demand classes were less than 50 students, 45 students in those classrooms. And that class diversity. I had a richer experience at the community college in that smaller classroom than I did at the UC with that really big auditorium sized classroom. And they don't even offer some of the classes that I got at the community college. So if you're really thinking about, is it you know more beneficial to go to community college than UC? It really depends on it really depends on you, on what path your life is taking you. But if you have any other recommendations or anything like that, you can leave those in the comments below. If you want to hear more about transfer engagement and transfer journey, please like and subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, until next time, out.